We are blessed, a new day, a new week, to praise the Lord, to be loved, and to love. Thank you for joining us today in prayer, my friends. I'm Father Ron Hoy. This is the God Minute. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. Psalm 15 living in the shining place. O God, who dares to dwell with you? Who presumes the privilege of being close to you, living next to you in your shining place of glory? They are the passionate and wholehearted always sincere and always speaking the truth, for their hearts are trustworthy. They refuse to slander or listen to gossip or rumors. They will speak out passionately against evil and against evil workers, while commending the faithful ones who follow after the truth. They make firm commitments and follow through, even at great cost. They never crush others with mean words or abuse, and they would never be brought with a bribe against the innocent. They will never be shaken. With you as their God, they will stand firm forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 12, verse 12. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. As I looked over our reading for today, I felt a slight amount of confusion given St. Paul's words. What in the world does it mean to be patient in tribulation? Paul's other instructions in the reading seem rather simple. Rejoicing in hope is looking forward to the good that God is doing in our lives. Being constant in prayer, while difficult, is one of the few ways we can stay connected to our Heavenly Father and grow close to Him. But patient in tribulation? I don't know what that means. If you are not the best at your 7th grade vocabulary, like me, the tribulation is something that is a cause of great struggle or suffering. So what does it mean to be patient in our suffering? And I think we need to look no further than Holy Saturday. During the start of the pandemic and the lockdowns, I struggled a lot with what was going on in the world. The uncertainty of it all, lack of access to the sacraments, and the Eucharist really threw me for a loop. This cycle continued until I listened to a podcast on the Triduum. One of the points the host made was the period between the death of Jesus and the resurrection, or Holy Saturday. It is during these hours that we know the good that is to come. However, we have seen such horrible things happen to our Lord, and we wait patiently for that empty tomb on the morning of Easter Sunday. So looking back at the call from St. Paul today, or the call to be patient in tribulation, I believe it's the same call we receive on Holy Saturday. It's that challenge to endure the pain and suffering, knowing that Jesus will work in the midst of it and make us better on the other side. Looking at my own life, it's not difficult to put this challenge into action. When I am going through those times of pain 
or struggle or uncertainty. I simply must be patient and know that the Lord is working through it. Giving up all the control that I want so badly to hold on to and instead simply sitting in it and trusting that His grace is at work. So my sisters and brothers, join me in rejoicing in hope, being patient in tribulation, and constant in prayer. We are never promised that this life on earth will be easy, but we are promised that we never have to be alone through the struggle. No matter what you are going through, be patient during those times of struggle. Trust in the Lord and continue that holy longing as His grace goes to work. And together, in the words of Jesus, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, so many of my problems stem from not remembering you. I forget your wisdom, and so I worry. I forget your grace, and so I get complacent. I forget your mercy, and so I get resentful of others. Help me remember who you are every moment of my day. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. What a beautiful reflection today. Thank you, Justin. And my friends, you listening, praying with us now, do you know of someone who is struggling in their life, who might appreciate hearing our scripture and reflection today, assuring them of God's presence? If so, just go up to the top right and click that share icon and send them today's podcast. And let the Holy Spirit of God work their heart towards peace and healing. It's a great thing we can do for each other. Friends, thank you for being with us in prayer today. May God's blessing move you into the day with peace and hope. And may his blessing be with you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow.